Hello there, how are you doing? My name's Craig Tui. I'm the uh, writer and director of Unloved Ones, and I'm just sending you a quick video to say thank you for considering our movie and considering and investing in it, and to tell you a little bit about why uh, we want to make this film. So I've been in the um, film industry for 20 years. I spent 10 years at Disney and 20th Century Fox working in marketing and distribution of movies such as Star Wars, Pirates of the Caribbean, Finding Nemo, Sixth Sense, and, and lots and lots of others and um, after 10 years of working on the release of other people's films I wanted to make my own films so I started my own production company and over the past 10 years I've produced 11 feature films um, that have played in festivals around the world, won awards, star um, actors such as Felicity Jones, Jennifer Lawrence, Robert Sheehan um, and over the course of producing other people's stories I always knew that I wanted to tell my own story, uh, but I didn't want to do that until I was ready, until I had enough experience, until most importantly, I had a story that I thought I needed needed to get out. And the thinking behind Unloved Ones is twofold, is one, that it's a, it's a very intelligent script with um, all of the classic tropes of my favorite films, which are tight, edge of your seat, twisty turny thrillers with maybe a surprise ending that you didn't see coming um, uh, but more than that are actually about something so this this one is about relationships and families and how we protect our loved ones and how sometimes we might not even uh, be that honest to our loved ones to try to protect them or to try to protect ourselves so it's a it's a family thriller that's wrapped up in you know the, the classic genre tropes that make something really tight and exciting. Um, the film all takes place in real time in one location so that we can keep that tension ratcheted and keep you on the edge of your seat. If you think of something like Reservoir Dogs where it never really lets up and once you're in there it's like a pressure cooker and that's, that's the atmosphere that we're trying to create. Um, but that also means that we can do this thing uh, economically because we don't have to travel all over the place and we don't have hundreds of members of cast. It also has fantastic roles for three characters, um, a man, a woman and a daughter, um, just really meaty, clever roles for them to be able to get their teeth into. And if we, well, when we get those wonderful performances out of these actors and we have this incredibly tight thriller, we think it will represent uh britain very well in the, on the world stage in that it should get into festivals play festivals and do well commercially because it is a commercial internationally facing universal story and my personal feeling is that that's something that we've not been doing too well lately in our country every year there's a couple of big hits but there's a lot of very inward facing stories and this is a very international story we all have families that we love and we want to protect so yeah, so I felt like it was the right time. You might be wondering why I'm sending you this video from absolutely the middle of nowhere. The reason for that is um, my feeling is with Unloved Ones is that that will introduce us, the producers, the stars and the director as myself and hopefully you guys um, as a, you know, a, a new talent on the scene and people might want to see what we're doing next. So I'm out here ruminating and thinking and researching my follow-up project so i'm out here to write and to get away from the noise of london and to be alone with my stories and my characters and fresh air and some quiet so that when we we've made this film and it gets released and people say what do you have next we have something really really special to deliver so yeah so that's a little bit about me that's why we're doing this um that's why it's something i really believe in and i want to be my directorial debut and I really hope that you come on this journey with us. So thank you for listening.